Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you. Let's keep the energy up. How are you? Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Once again, delighted to welcome you all to 62A Netherwood Road, where a legend lived here for 27 years. We're all here to give her a proper send-off, a proper welcome, a proper resurrection for her contribution to the wonderful world of music. We've got some very special people in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, a whole potpourri of different experiences, different stories to share. I thought we'd start the proceedings while the flyers are on their way. Uh, and the first person I'd like to call to the stage, of course, is Councillor Daryl Brown, who's the Deputy Mayor of uh, London Borough of Hampstead and Fulham. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Daryl Brown. Millie Small sung on one of the most well-known records in the world, My Boy Lollipop, which changed the world of music. It sold millions of copies, alerting the world to ska music's emergence and readying us all for the world of reggae to follow. Millie Small not only gave us a song to make the world sing, but also to dance to, to grace almost every wedding or joyful event. Imagine as a young girl of no more than 16 she came to Britain, facing down the cold and the other challenges, to produce such music that would not only make her generation dance and sing, but many, many generations to come. In June, we did a tribute to the Windrush 75's um, generation, many of whom settled right here in Hammersmith and Fulham. In some ways, Millie Small, with her Larger Than Life song, tells you everything you need to know about the Windrush 75 generation at that time. My Boy Lollipop typifies and symbolises in a show, in a record, how that generation changed Britain and beautified the world of music in the process. We are so proud that Millie Small spent so many years living here, over 20 years in all, and that she pursued her other passion of painting here too. Though she never equaled the success of My Boy Lollipop, again, I think you will agree she had done enough on the musical front for a lifetime, indeed, for many lifetimes. I just had one, one very happy memory when my brother, that's a long time ago, was about five and they had a theatrical performance in, in Ireland or in Dublin and he had to dress up as Millie. Yeah. So he did and he had to dance to my boy lollipop and he had these strings of beads. I don't know, that was probably part of her performance and he was singing and the music was playing and he was swinging the next thing, the beads broke and they flew all over the place and he died a thousand deaths. So he never, he never participated in any other performance again in school. But it was a lovely memory, I've never forgotten it. But thank you all for coming, and it's a pleasure to, to meet you and see you all here on this wonderful occasion. Thank you. As the Deputy Mayor said, it's such an honour to be here to put this plaque up for this phenomenal artist, Millie Small. Millie Small is a musical giant amongst musical giants with just one song in 1964, she transformed musical perception in the UK um, and internationally for everyone, a tune still admired and danced to today. My Boy Lollipop wasn't just a song, but a phenomenon that sold over 7 million copies. I say again, 7 million copies. This is before the era of downloads, so 7 million people went out their home spent time going down to a record shop and walked all the way back home just to play this tune. Um, few records had that time garnered much love, but Millie Small, with her distinctive voice and attitude, made people move all, sorry, move in all senses. This song showed the world where music was going. Trumpeting the arrival of Scar, and heralding the reggae music to come in the 70s. Hers was a voice that set island records off on its first voyage, creating waves. Imagine, she left Jamaica as a young teenager. She was no more than about 16 years old to accompany Chris Blackwell, founder of Island Records, on a trip to London to make a record. Millie Small left a legacy which can still be heard today and with this plaque we want to make sure that her beauty and her breadth in her life was also seen and admired by everyone. 
thank you for joining us, especially Millie's uh, Small's family and friends who are here today. And please enjoy this tribute. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Millie's daughter, Jaylee Small. Thank you all for coming to my beautiful, bubbly, scar legend of a mother, Millie Small's blue unveiling. Oh no, I got it wrong. Blue plaque unveiling here today. When my mother passed on the 5th of May, 2020, I wanted her to always be remembered and her legacy to live on. So, when Nubian Jack and his excellent community trust organization reached out to me earlier this year, I was excited and thrilled that my mother, quite rightly, uh, be receiving this important historical award. Who's that? Oh, look at that, Daniel Waller, big up. Um, Chris Blackwell, founder of Island Records, he reached out to me last week with the following words to say. I'm not gonna do an accent, so. Uh, I'm so thrilled that your mother has this great honor in London, England, which is going to last, <laughs> which is going to last forevermore. I'm so proud of her. He also said, Millie Small started Island Records with her first global hit record that sold over 7 million copies worldwide and she toured all across the world. <laughs> she was just adorable wherever she traveled and everybody loved her. Millie Small, she will always be remembered for sparking joy with her unique sound. Music was in her heart and soaked and soaked through to her bones. She was always playing music whenever I popped around here for our little dinner parties and dancing with a glass of Prosecco and or gin and tonic, singing my boy lollipop until it was time for me to go home. Millie touched the hearts of every being she met, leaving an infectious imprint of love, laughter and joy, not only with her voice, but with her vivacious and exuberant nature. Some of you, who I recognize, yeah, <laughs> would have seen her bopping around Shepherd's Bush with a cheeky wiggle and was always welcoming when she was stopped in the street. Today, we unveiled this plaque in her honor, not only paying homage to Millie Small's extraordinary contributions, but also acknowledged the vital role she played in celebrating black history and culture. This plaque is for everyone to enjoy and will leave an indelible mark for future generations to admire. Let us remember her as a shining star in the constellation of black history for the joy she brought, the hips she made sway, and the heart she made race. Yes! <laughs> Let's celebrate her today and pay tribute to the blue beat girl who made our world a little bit more fun. So, in the words of Millie Small herself, what a beautiful day, BIM! Let us raise our invisible glass to the sky and say, my boy Lollipop, after three, one, two, three! My boy Lollipop! <laughs> Thank you. I'm sad, I'm my brother, I'm happy. I lost a friend, Chris Blackfield, introduced me to Millie. And I wrote her first record release. My boy Lollipop changed our lives. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I, I've been in work ever since. <laughs> I used to come and visit up to lockdown. That's when the trouble started. And, um, I really miss her, but she made a lot of people happy, and she made me happy too. Heal for Millie. Yeah, man. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love and hate can never be friends. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Here I come with love and not hatred. 
Surely goodness and mercy shall follow I All the days of my life Envy no one No wish to be with no evil one But there'll come a day When you'll be whipped By the Father's hand Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah yes. First off, thank you so much for everyone for coming. It's really fantastic. I think this is the best turnout we've had for any of our plaque unveilings. So that's absolutely phenomenal. All right. So I'm afraid I am a boring guy from the council. So I've just got to say a few council things. But anyway, so um, yeah, I'm the, as Jack said, I'm the Assistant Director of Cultural Services. And it's a privilege to really follow up from my predecessor, Steve Honingworth, who really got this going with Jack and... Uh, and it's been phenomenal. I think we've done 10 plaques previously, and it's a real honour to be able to be part of this and to continue the great work. I'd like to thank Middy Small's family and friends for allowing us to honour Middy Small today. And I'd like to also acknowledge my colleagues in the council I work with, a couple of whom are here today, Emma and Peter. We all work as a small team to make these things happen. And it's all part of Hammersmith and Fulham's um, it's our effort to diversify the public realm and to celebrate black history in the borough. I'd also like to thank Dr. Jack Bueller and the Newbin Jack Community Trust for partnering with Hammersmith and Fulham to make all of this possible. The blue pack uh, that we're unveiling today is a significant addition to our uh, um, heritage and history trails. We've got four that we it basically track... Uh, you can follow the history of the black community in Hammersmith and Fulham, um, and it's... And it really raises awareness, especially among young people, of our rich um, heritage and her her heroes and heroines from the black community that have contributed so much to uh, our diverse and wonderful borough. I'd just like to thank again everyone for attending today and enjoy the rest of the event. I am uh, living currently, well not currently, but I purchased the flat in 2020. Um, I had no idea about the history of who lived here. Um, my next door neighbor, kindly greeted me and first said to me that Millie Scott used to live here and uh, you know she's a special lady and I Millie Small sorry apologies you can see I'm a little nervous I'm not normally used to speaking uh, to that many people just me in the four walls but um, yeah he said beautiful things about her and I'm sure she's a lovely lady to have all this you know beautiful faces turn up says a lot about her as a person um, I'll get into more of the interesting facts at the moment this mess behind me is my responsibility. Um, it doesn't look very, very attractive at the moment. It's, uh, well, we're ongoing with some major refurbishment works. Um, it'll be completed next year, hopefully, if my neighbors give me permission. So if my neighbors are listening, <laughs> we all need the green light so we can you know, get this plaque you know, installed in, in the right conditions and it's fit for purpose. Um, so I think it would be, uh, well, the smartest thing to install it once the whole property is refurbished and the landscaping's all done and it's attractive because I think the blue special plaque needs to be installed in better conditions. I think you'd all agree. Um, well, that's a good agreement. <laughs> that was easy. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for attending. Jack, again, thank you for all your hard work. And yeah, have a great day today, evening. Let's celebrate for Millie Small. Got it right, see? Um, <laughs> And yeah, take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Kamal, and I'm a cousin of the late great Millie Small. Um, Millie St. Dolly May Small was born on the 6th of October 1947 in Clarendon, Jamaica, in our small but powerful district called Smithville. Pronounced Smithville, but you know, we say Smithville. Yeah. Millie was born and raised in Smithville in a place called Down a Windsor. Right, Windsor is what we call Down a Gully in rural Jamaica. Yeah, she was the daughter of Uncle Christopher Small and Auntie Elvie Smith Chambers, fondly remembered as Miss Dulobieka. She was one of 13 siblings um, Uncle Lieber, Uncle Franklin, Uncle John, Gilroy, Auntie Estri, Auntie Olive, to name a few. My great grandmother, my grandmother's mum. Miss Ethel Dawkins, lovely known by us as a family as Miss Etel or Aunt Etel, was Millie's immediate cousin. Miss Ethel, my great grandmother, when Millie was young in Jamaica, Smithville, was the matriarch of the family and mother to the district of Smithville. 
My great-grandmother loved and looked out for Millie when she attended Smithville Basic School, as my great-grandmother was the cook, the only cook at the time Millie attended the school in Smithville, Clarendon, Jamaica. If it wasn't for icons like Cousin Millie, there would be no worldwide love for ska, rocksteady, reggae, or lover's rock. She was the head cornerstone, word to Bob Marley. The head and not the tail. She was the person, the little girl from Smithville, Clarendon, Jamaica, who at the tender age of 16, put Jamaican music, in particular ska and reggae, on the worldwide map. Millie in her prime toured throughout New Zealand, Australia, Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, the US, Brazil, and Argentina. Millie at one time in 1946, 1964, 1964, in Kingston had a show where the then Patti LaBelle and the Bluebells was an opening act for Millie. Millie was never an opening act, she was always the headline. Alongside people like Otis Redding, Ines Fox, to name a few, being Millie's opening acts on all her shows. And it's a very, impo very important speech for the history so people understand that Millie was a full person and came from somewhere. Yeah? My late grandmother, Mrs. Eslin Victoria Miller, who passed away only in August of this year, recalled when she saw Millie often in Smithville, Clarendon, Jamaica, where they were all born and raised, and how Uncle Bertie, Millie's uncle, would bring Millie round to see all the family throughout the district to make sure she grew up to know everybody well and who them be, who them grandmother is, who their great grandmother is, etc. Millie had several uncles. Another one we knew very well was Vanny Small, who we lovingly knew as a family as Brother Vanny, who was the first black deacon at Harlesden Baptist Church. He was born in 1913. Right, not to forget her songs like Wings of a Dove and Sugar Dandy to her feature recording on the late great Prince Buster song, I Go, alongside Roy Panton, to her many duets with Jackie Edwards and Roy Panton under Roy and Millie, the duet. Millie was a true trailblazer and icon. May she continue to rest in eternal peace. Thank you all for coming. Beautiful, beautiful. Listen, I am so honored to be here. I came all the way from Northampton. It was a long journey. I got caught in traffic. I was screaming, pulling out my hair. And I have none left. <laughs> Just to get here, you know, was a little boy. Um, I remember growing up, my dad and mom, and I remember when Billy Small came on the television, and I remember putting my, a broomstick through my dad's belt wow. and tying it inside and just, just played along to her. And every time my dad and mom went out, we put on my boy lollipop yeah. and they'd keep watching through the window to see if, they, if they're going to come back. Yeah. Yeah. But it's an honor to know that in the later years, this time, I found out that Millie was my cousin. She was a Dawkins. So I'm so honored to know that's the, that's the lineage I'm coming from. So blessed. But you know, I'd like to sing a song for Millie. Um, she might have heard it. I don't know if she, if, she, if she would have known it, but I'm sure she would have heard it. And I wrote it many years ago. And if, you're long, if you know it, sing along. And this is for Millie. Run the chat, please. Cause I mean, listen, sing along. Is there a place in your heart for me, little girl? Is there a place in your heart for me? Listen, those fancy guys taking your places, pretty cars, only faces. Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? So, hey, girl, come on, here you what you doing? Come on. Hey, girl, what you doing? Hey, girl, what you doing to me? What you doing to me? This is what I said to her. I hold my pillow. I hold my pillow so close. I turn softly and call your name out low. I hold my pillow. I hold my pillow so close. I turn softly and call your name out low. Yo, 
your name alone Natural woman Natural woman Natural woman You're mine It's just I'm so pleased and really, really overjoyed um, to be here and to recognise Millie, which is truly deserved. What an, what an icon, what a woman, an amazing woman that just, you know, did so much for black music history and music and, uh, and a fellow Libran sister as well. So, it, you know, this honour is truly deserved and a long time coming. So, um, and also, you know, my, my father would be delighted to know that Millie has been honoured and my father, he worked with Millie. Uh, my father, as Jack said, had the, the first black recording studio in Britain, uh, which was based in Kilburn, where Island Records had moved to. I'll just brief you quickly on that. And um, so they were all housed in the same building. And uh, Millie, you know, the record was thought of at the time. So uh, they did lay the track, uh, his Tony, who did a speech earlier. Tony Washington. Tony Washington. Yeah, yes, the great Tony Washington. We found the key from my lollipop on her father's piano. Yes, 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 he did. And um, some great work. But um, we're not here for that. We are here for the small family. We're here for Jay Lee. You know, what a wonderful, wonderful young lady and just, just, a, just a star in her own right. So I am so pleased. And, and just look at the outpouring love that I can see here for Millie, which is amazing. Give yourself a round of applause for coming, you know. Here's the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Five. I'm failed acting, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, ITV, yeah. <laughs> it says, my boy Lollipop, recording artist Millie Small, lived here 1993 to 2020, actually. 2020, 27 years she lived here, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to install the correct plaque as, as, as Mr. Nasser uh, alluded to next week, ladies and gentlemen. Next is it next week or the week after? Week after, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Jay Lee. We have honoured your mother, an amazing sister. She's touched all of us, everyone, and more.
She has passed away for many, many more.